Hey guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking ceiling in Revit. This is some sort of a triangular shape, weird, warped ceiling, and it looks quite cool. I found this picture on Pinterest and thought I had to create it, recreate it in Revit. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so here I am in Revit and I'm going to go over here to the architectural template and that's what I'm going to be using. And let's just create a room in which we're going to be placing this ceiling. So I'm just going to type in WA for wall, create some sort of a rectangular shape room and then let's create a floor kind of like that. And now I'm just going to go to the south elevation and change this level to 5000 millimeters because I want the the ceiling level to be a bit higher when I create a rendering later on to kind of see a bit more of the ceiling. And now I'm just going to select this floor plan, go copy, paste, align to selected levels and align it to level 2. And then let's just select all of these walls and as, as you can see I just hover over one of the walls, hit the tab for a second. Now select all of them, go attach top base, attach here, and there you go. So we have our kind of a top floor on which we're going to be placing our triangular ceiling. So once we have this, I'm just going to go into ceiling level 1. And here we're just going to be creating a pattern of this whole triangular shape that we have on the ceiling. So I'm just going to go here to the annotation tab and find a detail line or you can use the DL shortcut as well. So I'm just going to be placing kind of a irregular lines like so, kind of creating this triangular shape and if you can't kind of attach it to the end you can just hit the tab key and then it it helps you out. So you kind of just go around creating this triangular pattern and I'm just going to skip over this because you get the point, you don't have to watch everything. Okay, here we have our triangular pattern on our ceiling. Now these are only detail lines and this doesn't really mean anything, but we needed to have this just to continue on. And if you have any better way of modeling this ceiling, please share it with me. I, I don't really know any better way to create this pattern except the one that I'm about to show you. So I'm just going to go to Massing Insight to go in place mass just cancel out of this, let's call it a mass 1 and now I'm just going to go to the south elevation and here I'm going to go with reference plane so just type in RP or go here to plane and I'm going to be placing three planes one exactly on the ceiling, one a bit lower, maybe half a meter lower and one a meter lower, so over here and the first one I'm going to name number 1, the second one number 2 and the third one, yeah you guessed it, number 3 Okay, so once I have these three planes, I'm going to go back into ceiling level 1 and now let's just go with reference point and here make sure that you have this draw on work plane selected and make sure to go with reference plane number 1. So now I'm going to, uh, and for some reason I can't see it, so let's see where it is, reference plane number 1, okay, now we can see it, okay, it's there. So you just kind of start placing it around and don't place it on every point or on a every intersection. So you just place it on some intersections. So maybe on this one here, this one here and this one here. Okay, then you switch it to level 2 or reference plane 2 and then you place one here, here, maybe one here, there. Let's do it here as well maybe here okay and now let's go with the third one so reference plane number three and let's do these two points this point this point this point this point and this point here okay we don't need actually this one this one we do need yeah okay so these are all the reference points now I'm just going to go into 3d over here and as you can see we have our reference points over here and I'm just going to go to graphic display options and drop this down to around 60% transparency so once you're here you're just going to zoom like this go reference line make sure that 
you go with 3D snapping on, so make sure this is checked, and then you're just going to start connecting points. And maybe you can go with drawn face or just go like this. Just start connecting all the points together. So let's see, we have that one. So let's go to this one, kind of like that. And you get the point. You just basically start recreating this whole triangular ceiling pattern. And make sure you do the outside edges as well. Sometimes Revit's going to give you a warning, but don't worry, make sure to have all of them. Okay, so once you've finished doing this whole pattern, what you're going to do, you're going to go to model, select one, two, three, just by holding the control. As you can see, if I press the control, you see this little plus sign appear with the cursor. That means I can select multiple edges. So you select three of them and you go with this here shape. So it basically creates a triangle and just going to shade it. And then you can perhaps see it a bit better. I don't know. It's always hard to see these massing shapes, but I think you get it. There it is. So you just kind of go on creating these triangular shapes and what's interesting is you don't have to do it, this basically on every every triangle you can maybe leave some as a, just a void in the ceiling and make sure that you don't accidentally select a surface so you're just going around selecting these lines you go create form yeah it's a bit labor intensive but hey you want to get a, the good shape Okay, and as you can see here, I've done everything. I've left a few of them kind of empty. I think it would be cool just to have this pattern on one side of the room. And then I'm just going to go here to finish mass. So this is what we get. This is our pattern. And now I'm just going to go to architecture, roof, select the roof command. And then I'm just going to take the generic 125, go edit type, duplicate, call it no, I don't know, like my ceiling. Go OK. Let's rename this to, I don't know, like let's change it to 20 millimeters and let's add a wooden material. So just type in wood and let's use, I don't know, let's search for something interesting. Yeah, let's do this. Sliding. I, I like this material. So let's do that one and let's go now duplicate and call it my ceiling 2 and do the same thing just a different material. So I'm just going to type in wood. And let's use birch. I don't know. Go apply. OK. OK. OK and finish. Okay, so now we have th this new roof, roof materials. So just go with massing and site, uh, go to roof, and then you go select multiple. So I'm just going to be selecting like this triangles. So not selecting each one, just selecting some of them. So let's try something like this. I don't know, maybe one more. And let's create, let's make sure that this is called Where are our new roofs? Okay, they're missing. Let's just create new roofs from this one. So let's add this. Let's try wood. Let's use birch for this one. Apply, okay. Okay, apply, okay. Create roof. Okay, so this is what we get. And as you can see, some of these the computer didn't want to make for some reason. And that's okay, that happens all the time. So you kind of have to redo a lot of these. So let's do that. Okay, this is a roof. Okay, now let's just go into edit type, duplicate, call it generic. Yeah, let's just change this to that sliding. Go apply, OK, OK, OK again. And now select the ones that are 
left over, so maybe like this one, this one, this one, these two. And go create roof, and then you kind of have to redo the ones that Revit skipped. Okay, so this looks interesting as a shape. So let's just go into level one and let's just place some windows so we can get some sunlight to enter. So let's just do windows. Let's do the, or maybe we can place these big doors everywhere or, or windows, sorry. So let's place a few of them here and a few of them here and maybe some over here. I don't know, just let some light come in and let's create a camera over here like this perhaps, yeah, and let's just angle it upward so we can see our ceiling. So let's just open this up like so and then let's try rendering it. So I'm just going to type in double R, let's use medium, printer, and let's ju just adjust exposure or maybe just change it to interior sun only and then we can adjust exposure a bit later on when we are done with, re with the rendering. Okay, this, this looks quite cool actually. We have this basically two material style ceiling. But now just a second when it start, stops rendering we can kind of adjust exposure maybe get it a little better. So let's just go here maybe make it a bit brighter yeah that it looks actually quite cool and of course you can make all the panels if that's what you desire but basically that's how you get to this ceiling shape okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day